What's up everyone and welcome to our football predictions and betting tips segment here on the channel. How is everyone doing? I've been wanting to do this for quite some time. Um, actually, I've wanted to launch this segment last week but uh, the flu got me and I'm still recovering guys. So I finally made it guys, I finally made it. Uh, we are here with this segment. Um, so now before we continue with the rest of the video, I just want to put out a disclaimer really quickly. My predictions are based on data analysis which is publicly available on the internet and my personal feelings. While I strive to offer accurate and insightful predictions, it is important to note that there are no guarantees. Predictions are inherently uncertain and despite my best efforts, I cannot guarantee the accuracy of every prediction. In the world of football, unexpected events can occur adding to the unpredictability of the sport. The predictions provided are intended for entertainment purposes and they should not be considered as professional betting advice. Any decisions based on these predictions should be made with caution and at your own risk. If you want to bet according to my predictions, do your own research before placing any bets. I will not be held liable for any financial or non-financial losses incurred by you. By using my football predictions and betting tips, you acknowledge and understand the uncertainties and risks associated with it. So thank you so much for being part of this segment on the channel. Let's continue. Let's go. So uh, let me briefly talk about the flow of this segment. I'm going to give selected predictions for football games played on Fridays, Saturdays and Sundays. And I'll see if I can do a full recap on Mondays if the time allows me guys. So now I'm not going into too much detail, but let me just quickly talk about the football betting markets that I'll be making my predictions on. Um, I have a couple here. The first one is the basic three-way market. This market is one of the riskiest market. It basically means that you choose one outcomes for a given match. So this can either be a win for the home team, a draw or a win for the away team. So the second market that I'm interested in is the double chance market. This is one of the safest markets that you can bet on. Um, so this basically means you can choose between two outcomes for a given match. So this can either be a win or draw for the home team, a win or draw for the away team, or a win for either side within a given match, guys. So the third market I'm interested in is the goals market. So this is one of the safest markets as well and it is very popular. So in this market you can predict the total amount of goals in a given match or the total goals for either of the teams in a given match guys. It can either be for full time, half time, first half or second half only. Um, so the last um, betting market that I'm interested in it is the both teams to score market. So this market is a bit risky. Basically you choose between whether both teams will score within a given match. So it's either yes, both teams will score or both teams will score no. So there are lots of other markets available to choose from, but these are the ones that I will mainly stick to. Um, there's also combination markets uh, where you can combine different types of markets to boost your odds on a given match. But uh, more on that on perhaps another video. Um, so I also want to make it um, known that my preferred bookmaker for this segment is mainly going to be sporting bet. I did a video some time ago comparing different sites uh, when it comes to sports betting. Um, I'll leave a link somewhere for you guys to check it out. So that is out of the way guys. Let's get into our predictions. Let's go. So I've selected uh, three teams for our very first bet slip. First up we have Blackburn Rovers against Derby County over in the Championship in England. Um, it is the first game of the season in that league. Um, I think that Blackburn Rovers can get a result in this game. Um, they fared pretty decent last season. So I am going to give them a double chance in this game. So my betting tip will be um, Blackburn Rovers to win or draw. Up next we have Michelin against Vela over in Denmark in the Super League. 
Um, this one should be quite straightforward for the home team. Um, so I'm going in a little bit risky. Um, I'm going to give a straight win for the home team in this one. And our last match for our first bet slip, we are going to look at Genoa against Reginia over in Italy playing in the Coppa Italia. Genoa, they are a pretty decent side in the Serie A. And since they, they are playing at home, um, I'm also going to go in a bit risky with this one and give them a straight win as well. So to recap, we have Blackburn Rovers to win or draw at full time at 1.37 odd. Our second match, we have Michelin to win at full time at 1.46 odd. And our last match for our first bet slip, we have Genoa to win at full time at 1.36 odd. So the total odds will be 2.72 in our first bet slip. Right guys, um, I've prepared another bet slip. Let's go to our second bet slip. So our second bet slip, we have Galatasaray against Hatay Spor. So this is over in Turkey in the Super League. Um, Galatasaray have disappointed so many times before guys, but I am hoping that they can pull through with a solid win on the first game of the season. So I'm giving them a straight win in this one. Up next we have Preston against Sheffield United. We are back over in the championship in England. So this one might be a little bit tight. Um, but I am going to give a double chance to the away team in this one. So a win or draw for Sheffield United. <coughs> in our last match, we are going to go over to the Netherlands in the Eerste Divisie. That is the second league in the Netherlands. Um, we have Eindhoven against Den Bosch. Um, I believe this one is also going to be a tight one. Um, so I'm giving a double chance to the home side here. So a win or draw for Eindhoven in this one. So just to recap for our second bet slip, we have Galatasaray to win at full time at 1.3 at 1.23 odd. Then we have Sheffield United to win or draw at full time at 1.39 odd. And we have Eindhoven to win or draw at full time at 1.31 odd. So the total odds for our second bet slip is 2.23 odd guys. And that is all I have for you. So um, you can edit these selections and you can choose which one you agree upon guys. And remember this is football guys. Anything can happen and nothing is guaranteed. So I've had a pretty decent week with the sports betting. Um, I'll see if I can put some of my winning tickets here on the screen. So that is it from my side, guys. I'll see you guys in the next one. Let's go. Let's go. Machine.